so cold. You wouldn't think it was summer, right? It's September tomorrow. Sorry I dragged you out here. I just had to get out of the house. You were arguing with your dad. We could hear it across the street. Do you want to talk about it? Not really. Then why bring me here? My dad used to take us out here all the time to look at the stars. So you do want to talk about it? I just want to look at the stars. Well, just let me know. I am here. Do you see those? Hey, are you listening? No, yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, see stars? Yeah, that's Pisces, look. There. Yeah, those are the bodies of the two fish, and that's the cord connecting them. It's hard to make out, but I think so. Yeah, there are no bright stars in Pisces, so it's hard to see. But it's one of the oldest constellations predating most of the Greek ones we know of. Two fish connected by their tails with a rope. What does it mean? It's lost in history. Some people think it represents the duality of nature. The Greeks adapted it into their myths about the gods of love, Aphrodite and Eros. <laughs> the fish of love? <laughs> Are you making this up? How do you know so much about it all? Oh, I just watched a YouTube video about it once. I didn't think you'd be into all this horoscope stuff. Well, I don't know if I'm into it. I mean, I don't believe in fortune telling, but I like it. Isn't the fortune telling the whole thing? No. That stuff's just for fun, it's not real. They just make vague statements that could apply to anyone. If you read the fortune of any star sign, you could interpret it as being true. I've always just thought, why the astrological zodiac? Why not the Chinese zodiac? If your year of the pig fortune says you're going to have a bad day and your star sign Capricorn fortune says you're going to have a good day, then which one do you believe? Well, neither, obviously. But I still like it, you know, the categorisation of people, like... If you're an Aries, you sometimes have a bad temper. If you're a Leo, you tend to be stubborn. Yep, it's so much easier than having to define yourself. Isn't it though? Everyone's searching for an identity. It's exhausting. But like, here comes one on a silver platter and all you had to do was be born in the same month. But it's just so broad and vague. It's like sometimes tends to. The traits you're identifying with could be used to apply to anyone and everyone. No it's, no, it's not about being accurate. It's more about being like a gateway and introspection, you know. Maybe someone will read it and think, maybe I am too stubborn. And maybe they'll think a little deeper about their actions in the future and it will help them lead a happier life. I guess. But... It can also be a gateway into believing in fortune telling and falling for scams. I mean, come on, like everyone born in the same month is gonna have the same personality flaws. Well, yeah. You know, they even added a new star sign recently, so that's messed everything up. What? Yeah, a few years ago. So, like, if you were born on February the 21st, you used to be a Pisces, right? Well, as of 2016, you know, an Aquarius isn't that crazy. So you would have been reading the wrong horoscopes the whole time anyway. So what's the new star sign? Opacus? Opiatus? Op I don't know. <laughs> and where is it? <laughs> I don't have a clue. I only know the main ones. Ursa Major. And Orion. And, um... The ones my dad would have shown me, so uh, Polaris, Sirius, Rigel, and um... Pisces. Actually, Pisces is there. 
what I don't understand is how anyone ever looked at that pale cluster of light and saw a couple of fish. Well, it's, you know, it's abstract. It doesn't have to look like a fish to represent a fish because the fish doesn't even represent a fish. It represents duality or... Love. I guess. I guess it can represent whatever we want it to, right? Yeah, sure. You know, all these constellations were just made up by some person or collection of people thousands of years ago. Okay, so maybe the two fish are pulling against each other and so they're just stuck in the middle of the river. Where are they trying to get to? Home? But they live in different parts of the river, so one lives upstream and one lives downstream. But if they just keep pulling against each other, then neither of them are going to get anywhere. Oh. I feel bad for our made up fish now. Okay, okay. Well, what if eventually they get to talking and they find out they have a lot in common? Well, two fish would. And then they talk more and they eventually grow to really like one another. I like that. They're connected by a cord. They should be in harmony. Can they decide to find a new home together? Sure. Why not in the middle of the river? No. Up there in the stars. They can go anywhere they want once they stop letting their connection get in the way. You know, usually you can see a shooting star or two out. What are you doing? I'm taking a picture of our constellation. Oh, it didn't come out. Of course not. You need weird sciencey cameras to take proper pictures of stars. I wish I could see it. You can see it. It's right up there. No, I mean, I wish I could take it with me and show it to other people. Why does it matter if other people see it? Well, it just doesn't mean as much if it's just me and you that know about our special starfish. What I mean is I want to share it with other people, with my family. That way, whenever anyone looks up at the night sky and sees Pisces, then maybe they'll think about us in our story. Well, I guess I just wouldn't know. That's them now. I need to go home. And maybe you should too? I don't think I can go home right now. It'll be all right. Your dad will get over it. Some people just have a hard time adjusting to change, but he'll come around. When you've seen someone as one thing for so long, it can be hard to see them as something else. I just want to stay here a little longer. You can't stay here forever. I might. You didn't see how upset he was. Probably just shocked. I mean, you have been keeping it from him for a really long time. So? It's, it's my life. It's my decision. Like, it doesn't matter when I was going to tell him, he would have still taken it badly. Come on, Dan. You have to give him time to get used to the idea. He didn't know that you wanted this. What? I don't want to leave. Like, I have to. I want nothing more than to live the rest of my life in this quiet town. But there's something in me, something driving me away from here. What does that even mean? Like, it means, it means I can't be satisfied staying here. Like, I need to go away for some time to find out what I want before I can come home again. You've never talked about feeling this way. Even to me. I'm shocked. I can't imagine how your dad must feel. How can you not know? Like, I think it's obvious. How can your perception of me be so wrong? Well, everyone's perceptions are wrong all the time. It's not a good thing 
or a bad thing. It's just how perceptions work. You can never see the inner workings of things, so all knowledge is just surface knowledge to some degree. I like the constellations. No, I mean, like people. So like, take me for example. On the outside, you might think that I'm confident or aloof or drop-dead gorgeous, but inside my head, I'm anxious and needy and, you know, drop-dead gorgeous. Well, our perceptions aren't that misaligned then. Look, some people look at Pisces and just see a fish, right? Some see duality, some see love, some see a collection of lights, and some people just aren't looking at all. So try to not worry too much about how other people see you, because everyone's going to see you differently anyway. But I just wish me dad could see us in a way that would make me feel valid. Well, Dan, it's a two-way street. You have to open up to him for him to be able to do that. If it was up to him, I'd never even move out the house. It feels like he's happier the more bored I am. Well, maybe a little bit. Everyone's parents want them to be bored. When you're bored, you're safe. You want to go off and chase some dream that you don't even have yet. No wonder he's worried about you. Your dad probably just wants to keep you close. But if you can't bear the thought of going home tonight, then you can stay with me. Oh, no, no, I couldn't impose. You've stayed with us a million times. You're not imposing. Look, it's either stay with me or call your dad and make up. What would I even say to him? What would you want to be said to you if you were in his position? He's probably sat with his phone right now wishing he hadn't said what he'd said. Too anxious to call you. Your dad is a person just like you, just like any of us. Thanks. Like, I still don't know if I can yet. I'm glad you're here. It's really easy to talk things through with you. Well, yeah, I am a Gemini. <laughs> oh, I see the star. Make a wish. <laughs> <laughs>